The toughest thing in Marvel movies is to get the makeup just right. It is easier to draw these unique, sometimes non-human characters in comic books than paint them on real humans. The character transformation is seriously real. Keep watching this video for some classic before and after Marvel makeup looks. Let's begin. First, Ryan Reynolds' scar-covered Deadpool body. Ryan Reynolds is most famous for playing the sarcastic and charismatic Deadpool in the Marvel movies of the same name. For a long time, Marvel was hesitant to go ahead with the solo Reynolds movie after he bombed one of the X-Men films as Wade Wilson. But after seeing a test reel leaked online by the actor himself, Deadpool got a green light. The movie became a smashing hit in a short time, and part two followed soon enough. In the first part, the story followed the transformation of the handsome Wade Wilson into the scarred Deadpool. While the scars have a different story behind them in the movie, Reynolds went through extensive makeup coverage to look like the scarred Deadpool every day of the shoot. Bill Corso was the genius artist behind turning the actor into the transformed character. Corso created Deadpool's look via practical makeup, avoiding the use of CGI. Deadpool is in full costume for most of the movie, so only his scarred face is visible. But in one fight scene with Ajax, Wade had his entire scarred body on display. For that scene, Reynolds had to be covered head to toe in scars using makeup, and this was confirmed in a photo shared by Corso. Corso even revealed that Ryan's actual muscles had to be toned down for the makeup to set and work in the movie. Deadpool's scarry look sure made for a memorable and scary sight. Next, we have Karen Gillan as the daughter of Thanos. Guarding the galaxy is no joke. You will understand if you have seen one of the most dangerous women in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the daughter of evil supervillain Thanos, Nebula, played by Karen Gillan. Nebula's look was a very difficult one to achieve when not done digitally. The makeup team started with the head. A full-size bust was created in the shape of her head, which was then fitted with prosthetics to be put on the actor's face directly. But not every inch of Gillen's face was covered with prosthetics. Some areas, like under the eyes, nose, ears, and the back of the head, had to be done with makeup. The prosthetic costume had a very specific blue color, which had to be matched just right with the makeup every day. The actor also had to be completely bald for the transformation. Karen shaved her head in the first movie, but wore a latex cap for the following ones. After the makeup and prosthetics were done, the face was airbrushed and worked on with stencils to make it look textured. The prosthetics on the parts of her face used for expressing emotions, like the forehead and cheeks had to be thinner than the ones on the other areas, like the top of her head. Gillen's hands and nails were also painted the same blue color, and she had to wear big black lenses that covered most of her eyes. This grueling process was five hours long and had to be done every day. Up next, Jennifer Lawrence as the yellow-eyed Mystique. The famous shapeshifter of the X-Men series, Mystique, has unique yellow eyes and an overall blue appearance. This was one of those looks where a lot of time and effort was invested to bring forth the final appearance. Jennifer revealed on a show that in the first movie, it took eight hours daily to paint her and present the final look. With advancements, these hours dropped to three per day in the later movies. Six girls worked on her character for about seven hours to finish painting the entire body. Lawrence joked about it and said, I know that everyone feels sorry for me, but it's so much fun. It's like a sleepover, except I'm naked and getting painted. The process started with attaching scales to her body and then applying three layers of blue paint on top with an airbrush. After that, five more layers of paint were splattered onto her body. Jennifer revealed that she sometimes wore a bodysuit before getting painted, as she got allergies all over her body from the paint. The actress also said that she either stood or sat on a bicycle for the entire process. In a feature, the makeup team disclosed that about 20 women were painted as a test to find the right shade of blue for Lawrence's character of Mystique. Now, the wrestler's transformation for Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave Bautista was also among the Marvel actors who had to spend a lot of time on set to achieve their final look. As revealed by Marvel Studios, Batista was transformed into his character Drax, the Destroyer, by a team of five makeup artists who worked for five hours every day to put on 18 pieces of prosthetics on the wrestler's body. David White, the head of the makeup team for Marvel, said, A makeup that extensive is a real slog for the team, as it's so complex. A plastic mold of Batista's body was made with holes on which a map was carved to know where all the makeup would go on the real actor. After the map was set up, the wrestler's body was brushed sealed with a chemical and medical adhesive mix. Once that was done, the 18 prosthetic pieces were applied onto Dave's shoulders and body by the makeup team. The actor's body was covered in detailed tattoos and markings, and since there was no dominant color, layers of gray, red, and blue paint were applied in turns. Thin layers of green paint were added as well. After the final paint sweep, the body was covered in fixative, so the look would stand for the entire shoot. Other than this, David had to put on dentures to get the dirty teeth look and contacts for the icy blue eyes with hints of red. Next, 
Paul Bettany steps on screen after playing Jarvis. Paul Bettany was introduced as a new character, Vision, in Avengers The Age of Ultron. The character became an instant hit. Up until that point, Bettany had been playing the voice of Tony Stark's AI, Jarvis. It took more than three hours every day to transform Paul into the role of Vision. Sean Harrison was the special effects artist who worked on the look for about five months. He revealed that Vision was a mix of digital effects and prosthetics. The lines that appear on the front of his face were added through special effects, while the prosthetics were added from above the eyebrows down to the shoulder blade. Other than a small hand-sized area, no part of the face was left free from prosthetics. The actor revealed that the experience was amazing, other than the part of getting ready for a long time every day and sitting down with a suit of prosthetics on. Next is Zoe Saldana's green transformation as Guardian of the Galaxy. In the Guardians of the Galaxy, Zoe Saldana's green painted look for Gamora was quite different from Gillen's digitally created blue one. Saldana had to sit in a chair for five hours to take on the look. The actress wore prosthetic pieces made from encapsulated silicon, and special effects makeup artist David White created a shadow line of prosthetics in place of her eyebrows. Even her cheeks were made of prosthetics. The green color to be put on was tested several times. The look was to be vibrant, with lots of highlights added to the body. So, after putting on the prosthetics, Zoe's skin was covered with yellow primer, on top of which the green paint base was applied. Three layers of green paint were airbrushed after the initial layer, with a mix of highlighter put on top of the paint layers. The eyeshadow used was a combination of several shades from MAC, and an eye pencil from MAC was used as well. The actress wore false lashes and a green lipstick from Cryoland. As for the hair, Zoe sported a wig designed by Lizzie Giorgio and Carol Waugh. The green hairline visible was actually an extension piece of prosthetic forehead skin that went under the hairline. A member of the team, Claire Burgess, and her assistant, Hannah Confort, applied, colored, and dressed the wig daily. The wig had pink tips and a braid decorated with two alien skulls. Lastly, Elizabeth Debicki in a Yesha's gold costume. Marvel brought on Aussie actress Elizabeth Debicki to play the role of a Yesha, the golden high priestess and leader of the sovereign people in the Guardians of the Galaxy. A striking golden look was put together for the actor. Debicki plays an alien who is shown to be mentally and physically perfect and matched to gold, the most precious of metals. The look is a combination of a gold costume, pieces of prosthetics around the face, elaborate golden yellow makeup, and contacts to match. Some of it was created by special effects as well. That's a wrap for this video. Which makeup before and after look is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.